Hi, my name is Katie Sensenig, and I'm going to give you a rundown on the financials for 2020 and 2021. The financial reports are attached to the annual report. Um, you have a balance sheet, which shows you the assets and the bank balances. You have a budget, 2021 budget, which shows you the actual numbers for 2020, the budget from 2020, and then the new budget for 2021 that compare across the, across the, the report. There's also a report on the capital campaign, which shows you all three years of the capital campaign. So you can see all the numbers of how much we received and how much money we spent. And there's also a report on the designated funds as of December 31st. We ended 2020 with money in the bank. I never thought it would be possible in March that we would end the year with our income exceeding our expenses by slightly over $100,000. Multiple members helped us with generous gifts well over their pledges for a total of $69,800 that is included on the line item for offerings miscellaneous for 2020. Some of you chose to prepay your 2021 pledges a year in advance so that we had cash flow to pay bills. We tightened up everything when the pandemic hit, but payroll was the priority. The government came through with the PPP loan program. I'm sure you all heard about it. It was for small businesses, but it also applied to nonprofit organizations. We were able to secure a loan for $134,100 for atonement. We expect this loan to be totally forgiven in the next month or so, and that will turn it into a grant to the church. So we got government money. We were able to keep paying the staff with the PPP money until all of you began giving us your pledges in so many different ways. It is hard to give us money when the doors are locked, but you all figured out how to do it. The 2021 budget is smaller than 2020 by about 18%. Staffing changes, retirements, and benefit changes will keep payroll costs down and lower than last year. Maintenance and repairs for 2020 were kept to a needs only system. We did only what we absolutely had to. For 2021, we need to begin catching up on our regular maintenance items. But we now have a volunteer landscaping crew that is saving us over $9,000 a year. Thanks guys for all your lawn service. The preschool income for 2020 was also down 55%, only 55% of what we expected to receive for the preschool. We're still operating with a drastically reduced class sizes and income this year. If these enrollments increase, the income from tuition will rise along with the expenses. So Jen is trying very hard to keep that in line. The congregation and staff are to be commended for 2020. The congregation continues to support our ministry with monetary and volunteer efforts. The staff has made Herculean efforts to keep expenses down in this last year. We all, know, we all know that the next year will be still challenging, but I know we're up to the tasks. We've done it so far. We can keep doing it. And I wish you all well and stay safe and healthy. Thanks for all your help. I appreciate all that you've done for the church as well.